Sharks have been around for 400 million years. They deserve our respect. They kill less than 10 humans a year worldwide, and yet we kill up to 100 million of these animals. If people were killed at the same rate, every single man, woman, and child in the United States would be gone in three years and three months. Shark Week has an incredibly important place, as far as I'm concerned, for these animals and for ensuring that, you know, humans respect sharks and that we do as much as we possibly can to improve their conservation and to ensure that their populations are recovering and to ensure that everyone respects their place in the marine ecosystem. Shark Week has given people front row access to the world of sharks which has led to a greater understanding of the importance of shark conservation. This area is like going back into time, but because this area has been protected for a long time. It's pristine, it's beautiful. It's like the Florida Keys was 80, 100 years ago, before all the people, frankly. It definitely needs to be protected. Sharks are the apex predator of their ecosystem. They are at the very, very top of the food chain. It's just the ultimate ambush predator. They are responsible for picking out the diseased, the old, the slow, the members of their prey that probably wouldn't survive anyway. And then when they do that, they actually can help keep those populations of all the other animals healthy. And those healthy individuals pass their genes down to the next generation. And that is survival of the fittest. The world deserves to have predators. It needs predators. And hopefully through Shark Week and other educational programs, these animals will be there for many generations to come. White sharks are returning to our waters, but I don't think that's any cause for concern. If anything, we should embrace it. These sharks can completely regulate an entire ecosystem, so seeing sharks is a good thing. We want them here. Shark Week has consistently explained the very crucial role of a predator within an ecosystem. If the predators are there, then that habitat is doing well. And if there's an impact, if there's overfishing or pollution in the environment, the sharks and other predators are the first ones to disappear. Possibly one of the most disastrous practices affecting shark populations isn't even intended. Bycatching is the result of overfishing that plagues sharks all over the world. I grew up watching sharks being, you know, alive and well and jumping out of the water and doing all this amazing natural predation activity. And that's what sharks are. They're not, they shouldn't be lying dead on the deck of a boat. The sharks that are caught on the tuna line, they're bycatch, or they're what we call cryptic mortality. The fishermen will cut those fins off, throw the body back, and they put those up in the rig and dry them, and they don't take any room in the freezer for anything but bluefin tuna. So, so that's really what's happening. We've heard that these guys are, are hauling in everything, including sharks as bycatch. So the idea now is myself and Mike, we're gonna try and jump in on the nets, get some footage, and then see what we can see. You can see right behind me, there's a little square trap door. That's where they shovel out all the bycatch. Many countries um, have moved to abolish shark finning. Um, many states in the U.S. have made shark fin an illegal substance. So we're definitely moving in the right direction. However, wherever there's a coastline, sharks are under attack, and it's very difficult to protect the entire ocean. Approximately 273 million sharks per year have their fins cut off and are then thrown back into the ocean, a process known as finning. It brings sharks into their living room. It educates people about sharks, and that's critically important because that's the first step to conservation. As people become more aware of these animals, so they take more action to conserve them. So the longer Shark Week carries on, and the more people that become ambassadors for sharks, the better it is for both sharks and people who enjoy seeing these animals in action.
Man, what did I get myself into? Could have sworn the guy on the phone said Shack Week. I'm sure nobody said anything about Shark Week. I don't do sharks. Watch Shark Week on Discovery Go.